This week, we chat about adding muscle mass. What's realistic? We also watch a lady get busted thirsting at a swole dude and watch a tiny lady put Seiko to the test. Let's get into it. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about searching the, the interwebs, finding a different intro song. But I was wondering <laughs> if people are like, you know, like we do, like. The rat-a-tat-tat? Yeah, they're like. They get they hear it and they're like, Oh, it's time. It's time. <laughs> they're like Pavlov's dogs. Right. It's time yeah. to get mad. People do love <laughs> consistency. Um, okay, so this week we're gonna talk about adding muscle mass, what's realistic, what you can expect, and some tips to do so. Um, but before we get into that, I wanted I saw this video and it just made me laugh. Made me laugh, laugh, laugh. Now we talk we always talk about seek all right, calories in, calories out. Yeah. Well we're gonna we're gonna see <laughs> What this lady's all about here. Okay, you ready? Right. Here's a nice tiny little Asian She weighs lady. 60. Yep. <laughs> now look at that. Hard-boiled eggs. One, two. Full hard-boiled eggs. Three. Four. Wasn't that five? <laughs> five. Oh, six. Oh, my God. Oh. Seen Cool Hand Luke, right? She's up to like... I don't know, 10, at least 10, right? Oh, my God. She's going to skip the peppers or what are those? Uh, the, I don't know. Are those, uh, um, what's that, asparagus? No. Broccoli? Wait. No, Brussels, Brussels sprouts? sprouts? Yeah. I don't know my veggies. Brussels sprouts aren't very Asian. The egg drop soup, though, looks fantastic. <laughs> she's up to like 15, right? <laughs> so she's about 1,400 calories. <laughs> and she just, no, she just... Got in her, her veggies there. <laughs> I mean, just the speed at which she's consuming this stuff is ridiculous. That's why people are going to break it down and say, oh, it's fake. No, it's not fake, though. I can hear them yeah. going down. <laughs> but she's got to be like up to 20. 20 freaking big hard boiled eggs. And she's not even sorry. She no. just looked at the camera like, what? Come at me. <laughs> not for the. Oh. Save the best for last. Yeah, how many calories are in that whole, in this whole mess we're, we're seeing here? Um, how many eggs did she eat? Like it was got to be twenty. Twenty, so that's about. And now a whole bunch of noodles, a whole bunch of carby noodles. Yeah, there's she's not many, just there's not many calories in that. Though. She's just hoovering them. Do you know why she's going fast? So it doesn't register. She, yeah, that hormone hasn't had a chance to catch yeah. up. Yet. She's. Just, it's like eating cereal. If you just go, you can eat the whole box. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, she's tiny, too. She's a little thang. Not all heroes wear capes, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Good for you. I mean, this is just impressive by any measure. No, she's going to go throw up. That's why she's 60 pounds. That was making me nauseous just watching her plow those. It's making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about nauseous. It's just, I mean, I love eggs. But 20 hard-boiled eggs in a row? If it was pickled. Oh, my God. It's just, she didn't even explain it. See that shit? There it is. <laughs> that was insane, dude. That was the equivalent at the end. She, the only thing that would have made that better is at the end if she would have went like this. <laughs> yeah, like what? <laughs> Come at me. Yeah, how, how crazy was that? Crap? The only question I have, that pers- the comments, the only question I have is how is she so skinny? <laughs> Well, because well, she got up, she hit stop and got up and went and puked. <laughs> well, you wonder, like, and That's I don't know. That's not true, though, because if have, she puked, she'd be fat. She'd be chubby. I have I have no concept of the context of that clip. I don't know if she's a competitive eater. Is she, you know, one of those. Oh, um, she didn't care. Is she one of these YouTube muckbangers, you know, where she they're just, just doing it for the to, lulls? She wanted to say, watch. Or is this something she does on a regular basis and she just has a crazy ass metabolism? I mean, or that's the only meal she's had in a week. There's, there's no context. That's the problem. I know. It was just impressive, though. But the Seco people would say, well, that's still Seco, just because she burns them faster. It is true. Yeah, exactly. And well, here's a question for you. Like, when people do Seco, they're usually talking about day. Now. 24 hours. She yep. could be talking about a week. Sure. I mean, if, if you average them out and she takes an X amount of calories per week and burns X amount, it still applies. Absolutely. So, and if she keeps... Under the, if she keeps in a deficit, she's not going to gain weight. I mean, it is that simple. Right. 
It's just math. But, but how do you how do you stay in a deficit plowing down that many calories? Yeah, what, what what's your guess on that whole the whole mess? Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Crazy. Crazy. Eighteen hundred and f- what? Hundred seconds. Yeah. A lot of protein, though. Holy shit. A lot of fat. A lot of fat. Eggs. A lot of, yeah. lot of fat. Yeah. All the yolks. Full on yolks. She wouldn't have to eat. She wouldn't want to eat, I bet, for you, right, at that's least the, thing. the next yeah. day. Because that protein and fat and the eggs. Oh, the yeah, the satiety in that is crazy. All right. That's another thing that made me laugh here. Not many eggs, though. Or not many. Not a ton of carbs and that little bit of noodles. Babylon bee is always good for some yucks. Amazing new plant bait, plant based meat tastes like Before real meat. Before I even read the hi- headline, I looked and said that doesn't look right. <laughs> right, exactly. It says amazing new plant based meat tastes like real meat to people who have obviously never eaten meat. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> it's funny because I used to love the onion, and they're still yes. hilarious. Yeah, but Babylon bee has almost usurped them for internet hilarity. Right. Yeah, they're pretty good stuff. <laughs> yeah, that does look look like a... And it, it doesn't look right. It looks like those Whopper burgers we ate. Yeah, exactly. Yep. You throw it in between a bun with a bunch of lettuce and mayo and stuff, and it's, right. you know, you can disguise it as something, but uh, crazy. Okay, and then, and then you sent me this, which just made me laugh. Now, we always talk about evolutionary basis for, you know... Everything. Attraction and yeah. reproduction, and and how these things are undeniable. And, when, and when, I think you said, you know, there's no dad bods getting their oh yeah, having, yeah, yeah. having girls bite their lip like this. Yeah. So this is a look at her just uh, reporter. She's like, mm. uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll post this link because if you're not on watching on YouTube right now, you got to see. It. She's <laughs> even sighing. Is she even like kind of like? And then she kind of looked down at him like, uh-huh. Her knees are getting wobbly. <laughs> Guess what? Nobody ever interviewed John Candy and did that. <laughs> right. No shit. That's funny, man. So, <laughs> and she, I mean, she was unable to contain it. Right. You know, it's. She's <clears throat> not even pretending. No. Not even pretending to hide it. You know, I watched, I was getting in a, in a YouTube spiral the other day and I watched a bunch of Norm MacDonald clips. Oh. R- R.I.P. Norm MacDonald. Yeah, he's, he's. But he was uh, on Celebrity Poker. Mm-hmm. Remember that show? Yeah. And they, for some reason, like for five years there, there was an insane poker craze. Yeah. And everybody uh, played poker. Um, but Even they were bad at it. And the, the, the I think the poker expert, his name was, uh, I forget, but he's one of these guys that does it for a living. And he was saying, he's looking for tells, right? Oh, right. So, and if somebody's really bluffing or if they actually have a strong hand, and this is a tell. I mean, this is a, a total tell. She couldn't suppress it. Mm-mm. And the, the professionals at, at poker are the ones that can have that urge to do that, but then not do it. Right. You know, they, if they can suppress their tell. Right. So basically, he <laughs> if he was a poker player, he would have went, let's go. <laughs> exactly. And she would have went, no, no, no. I'm, what do you mean? No, don't even pretend. <laughs> Don't. I, I know what cards you're holding. Yep, and then you grab his club and just <laughs> right. plonk <laughs> right. right over the skull, drag her back to his cave. <laughs> she, she's like, she didn't hear a word he said. It's just looping it. I just I laugh every time. <laughs> she didn't hear a word he said. <laughs> oh, shit, that's funny, man. <clears throat> he he should have said, my eyes are up here. <laughs> yeah, well, we talked about uh, how when we interviewed Mike... When he lost 200 pounds, yeah, how he said people would react to him differently, and mm-hmm. especially females, just right. in public, just at For the grocery sure. store and stuff. And you know that's kind of undeniable evidence of that. That this stuff is so hardwired into your lizard brain. Mm-hmm. There's no, you know, you're you're if if you're not displaying those types of behaviors, it's because you're suppressing it, you're fighting it, right? Yeah, but it's definitely instinct. Mm-hmm. Of course, you're you're depressing, you're suppressing it, and Controlling it, controlling it, because you're in in a civilized society, right? It's not appropriate to act that way. Yeah, we're not animals. <laughs> she just couldn't help it. No, that's why it's so funny when it leaks out like that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Here's another thing I saw that was funny. Uh, Tim Ferriss actually posted this today. It says inventing celery. Damn, I wish I could bite water with hair in it. <laughs> 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 that just made me chuckle. <laughs> Oh shit! Do you eat celery? Do you like celery? 
Not on purpose. It's if kinda, it's in something. It's kind of useless, right? It is. It's good in stuffing at Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's true. But um, other than that, like just flat out, like Mel, it's like that Jim Gaffigan bit where Mel's like, I love celery. I'm like, yeah, you. L- I love peanut butter too. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a delivery device. When Jim Gaffigan yeah. says, oh, I, yeah. I love lobster. <laughs> yeah, I love butter too. Butter, yeah. <laughs> well, that's my argument against corn on the cob. Right. I think it's just a delivery device for, for, for butter and salt. salt. Yep, <laughs> exactly. And same with potatoes to a large extent. Yep. You know, because if you if you don't have a bunch of butter and and, Sour stu- cream and, and stuff cheese on, and bacon bits. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's why people lose weight when they eat a potato diet because just a plain potato is boring as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Celery. Um, <clears throat> okay. So let's get into this topic here. So we're going to talk about adding muscle mass, okay? Such a very difficult, controversial topic. <laughs> For real. It, it's very... Um, Here's the dirty, horrible secret about not secret, but the well, horrible. everybody that everyone that gets lazy and eats like a f- asshole mm-hmm. and gains a few pounds. Well, I've been I'm lifting bulking. too. I've been lifting too. Uh, yeah. So some of that's muscle. The, yeah. No, it's not. No. It's not. It's really not. <laughs> Unless you're eating all protein. All protein. It's not. And you're crushing the gym. Right. And it's been ninety to one hundred and twenty days. <laughs> right. That's fast. Not three days. Yeah. That's that's the the. The little secret is there's no quick way to do this. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, all everything I've read on this, it's just incredibly and you're, freaking, and you're genetically bound. Well, true. And it's just incredibly painfully slow. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the sad thing. But you can pack on fat like a mofo. I mean, see, super, but everyone always talks about quick. everyone always but as humans, we always complain about the hard stuff. Oh yeah. So of course. it's so hard to put on muscle, but it's so easy to gain fat. Well, guess what? Yeah. It's easy to lose fat too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But that would require And it's harder to lose discipline. muscle. Yes. The, right. It goes on quicker and it stays on longer. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. but That's we don't, the good part. We don't ever talk about that, right. though. We always talk about the the miserable part. Yeah. You're not going to wither. If you wither away, you're, you're, if you're like in a big caloric deficit and you stop working out, I mean, your fat will go away quicker. For sure. You know, which is good. Well, it's for me. I can, I can. Get my if I really work hard at bench, I can get my bench up to 350, 360. My PR is 365. Right. If I work really, really hard right now, but that's not my focus, so I'm not 365, 350 strength right now for that particular movement because yeah. I'm I have different goals. Yep. But if I busted my ass for the next 60 days, I could get up to 360. Right. Just strength wise. Strength wise. So if I got to in the next sixty days, if I got to three hundred and sixty pound one rep max bench press, and then just hit it, high fived, and then stopped lifting. Yep. I could wait until Memorial Day (laughs) and still and do nothing until Memorial Day and climb on the bench and still put up three twenty five. Right. Oh yeah, exactly. Because that's that's all I'd probably regress. Yep. But if I got down to 9% body fat <laughs> and then as s- soon as I hit 9% did nothing until Memorial Day, mm. I'd be at 48% body fat. <laughs> exactly. Right back up there. Oh, my God. So true. So let's look at a few of these tips here. So number one, increase training volume. Now, what how they define training volume is the number of reps multiplied by your number of sets. So it's, and they say it's the primary determiner of hypertrophy, AKA muscle growth. Um, to increase volume, you may actually need to go lower in weight than you might guess. So just to get the number of reps up there and then get the number of total tension. sets. Time yep. under tension. Time under tension. Yep. So it says compared to training for strength, intensity is going to drop during the hypertrophy phase of a program, which with intensity sitting between 50 and 75% of the person's one rep max, the maximum weight he or she can lift up for one rep. All right. To get the volume your muscles need, she recommends performing each of your lifts for three to six sets of 10 to 20 reps. That's kind of why you always see... Four sets of 10, right? Right. That's kind of a standard, Yeah. you know, That's amount. standard volume. Yeah, because it, it's that balance of, sure, you could do a lot more reps of the lighter weight, but it needs to be in that 
50 to 75 percent of your one rep max so that you're getting the sufficient amount of stress on the muscles and then take it a step further when you do gvt or german volume training now you're getting into not just the rep scheme but how much rest in between oh, sets. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, that's one thing they mention here later on. Um, here's one you mention all the time, the eccentric phase, and that's not just when you decide to go all Howard Hughes and not cut and, your toenails anymore. And, and wear ascots. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, like, the concentric is the the curl. Right. And the, they call, they call it the hard and the easy phase. Yep. So the hard is the lifting, yep. and then the eccentric would be the... The decline, and you mm-hmm. mentioned this. You've mentioned this many times over our episodes. Is that one thing you would do? Is you'd have people apply resistance to that. You know, when you're on making this harder, yeah, make, making it, harder. it heavier. I mean, right. it's not realistic to go to grab fifties and then drop them, and then grab seventies and then right. lower them. Yep. So you just want to just slow down. Yeah. Just their tempo. Um, and because everybody concentrates so much on the lift. That and then it's they they're kind of like, yeah, they're kind of like uh, over. In fact, they literally drop sometimes, or right? they just lose, let gravity lower. Yeah, exactly. So, but if, but if you really did a, a curl, like very controlled and slow, oh my God, I mean, it works the muscles so much harder. So the perfect ratio I found is one to three. So, one, one, and then go down for two, three, three, okay. one. One, two, three. Yeah, because if you're going one, 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 you're you're getting that swing, the momentum. Yeah. For the lift part, which makes that part less effective yeah, you're, too. You're, you're kipping, like in cross. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's not a race. No, right. Because who are you fooling? You're only you're only screwing yourself. So, you, and this is funny. Race. The funny, and I was talking to somebody at this about this at CrossFit because in a workout we had the other day. And that's why people shit on CrossFit for like the fake pull ups and stuff. Right. Because we're competing. Yeah, it's a we're competition. It's a race. It's not. So like in push-ups, I see people all the time will have push-ups in class and they tend to the workout is for time. So you have to do it as fast as you possibly can. So people will do, they'll go, and then they'll go, I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, training great, but this is for time. Yeah. Don't just fall. Don't Yeah, just, exactly. Like gravity do its work. It's not, a, not only are you taking longer, yep. but you're wasting energy. Right, you're using up energy exactly. Yep. So yeah, that's a great way to. If, but if your goal is to build muscle, which is then what we're talking about to, here, yeah, then you got to really do control. That's why they always say with good form. You know? And it's like you see people shitting on CrossFit because they see us doing butterfly pull ups online. Yep. And it's like, well, you're just flopping around like a turtle, <laughs> whatever, doing those bullshit pull ups. But they don't see when we strap. 50 pound kettlebells to our waist mm-hmm. and then do just nothing but eccentric. Right. They don't see that part right. on, the, on the internet. Well, again, like you said it's a race. It's not who can do the most strict pull up. Right. You know, that's a right. completely different thing. And if your goal is hypertrophy, then you have to do it as controlled of a movement as you possibly can. Um, okay, here. Here's yeah, one like you just when mentioned. People say, you're making them easy. Yeah, I fucking know. Right. That's the point. That's the whole point. To <laughs> so get them done as quick as possible and consume as little right. energy as possible. Because you have more stuff to do after that. Yep, exactly. Exactly right. People All are right. just dumb. So here's one you just mentioned. Decreasing re- uh, between set rest intervals. Here's one I'm guilty of. Like when I, Especially when I'm at home, you know, doing my workouts. I mean, you always want to wait till you feel like you can do the next set <laughs> really well, right? Mm-hmm. But if you wait too long, you're then not. Then you cool down. Exactly. Yeah. So it says here, uh, set your timer for 30 to 90 seconds when lifting for hypertrophy. Rest periods of 30 to 90 encourage a quick release of muscle building hormones, including testosterone and human growth hormone, while also making sure that you really truly fatigue your muscles. So that's really what we're going for here. And, it, and as nerdy as it sounds, and a lot of the bros out there are going to be like, I'm, I'm a really cool guy, so I'm not doing that. But seriously, <laughs> ditch the cool guy bullshit and actually time it. <laughs> right. That's why in uh, you see because, timers in a lot of home gyms. Because 90 seconds will turn into 120 mm. in the blink of an eye. Oh, easy. Especially between the third and fourth set versus right. the first and second. <laughs> right. When you're, you could barely eke out the last rep of the third set, you're like, I think I'll wait a little longer before the fourth set. Dude, even I do it. I hope Ryan's not listening. Because <laughs> he programs my rest. Oh, yeah. And I'll always go. <sighs> I shouldn't say this because I know he'll listen. <laughs> But 
busted. I'll be like our counters twenty minutes, eight seconds. Yeah. And I'll and I'll I'll have two minutes of rest and I'll be like one, two, three, four, five, done. Four <laughs> and it'll be fourteen and I'll go, Oh, it was sixteen. <laughs> right. So then I'll wait two minutes till it comes around to the sixteen, not the fourteen, <laughs> right. even though that's when I was done. So you're padding a few here and there. Just a few seconds. Yep. And it's like it adds up though, right? But you know what? No, it doesn't. It's only a couple seconds. But you know what it does do? Mentally. Hmm. Oh. I just gave myself more makes rest. You feel like you got more rest. That, yeah. And that and it, and okay. mentally it makes me feel like I got that much more rest. Right. But I didn't. But it, it's not gonna matter. It's placebo. If it right, works, it's you know, not gonna if it gets well, you there. Well, it's not. It gets me there because I feel in my head. I'm like, oh, I got snuck in a couple seconds more rest. But when I, <laughs> but, but the the intended stimulus, yeah. I still got it. Right. Exactly. And yeah, the one thing they mentioned here at the end is, irrespective of rep and set scheme, fatiguing your muscles is a prerequisite for hypertrophy. Don't be afraid to feel the burn. What's the last ten percent? Yep. Of the session, that was where growth happened. That actually makes the growth occur, yep. Here's what we taught we just harp on constantly. To grow muscle, eat more protein. I mean, that's the PE diet we talk about. Not going to eat any protein because I just want to lean out. I don't want to get bulky. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Myth, myth. So, yeah, you got to focus on the protein. That's what your muscles are are made of. And that's right, what literally. And that's what makes them grow. Right. <clears throat> so that's why we say... Um, okay, now let's see. For optimal protein growth, weight weightlifters need to eat 0.25 to 0.3 grams of protein per kilogram. Okay, so that's not per pound. For a 175 person that works out to 20, 24 grams of protein at every meal. Uh, so basically, they I don't know how that works out with um, pounds, but we've always heard the one-to-one ratio is good or point better. 0.7 to 1. 0.7 to 1. Of your goal. Right, which is hard to do. Once you start tracking that, it's hard. So that's why. Well, like, that's why, I, and that's why I say goal weight. Yeah. Because if I'm working with somebody who's 400 pounds, I don't want you eating 400 grams of protein. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. Because it's gonna gluconeogenesis is gonna turn half of it into sugar. The goal weight. Yep. And Based 400 grams weight. of protein is a shit ton of calories. Oh yeah. So we don't mm-hmm. need any of all that going on if you're mm-hmm. 400 pounds. And that's why we said in our Thanksgiving episode to prioritize the. The turkey first, right? So if you have to, if you make the protein your goal, you gotta you gotta make that the largest chunk of your plate and eat it first. So you make sure you hit that goal because again, and we've mentioned this a few times too, but the what is it called? The protein synthesis. I forget the name exactly, but hypothesis. Yeah, proteins, whatever. Yeah, but where animals will eat until they get enough protein, and it's just a matter of how much other junk comes along with it, right? And that's when they're going to stop. Is the when analogy, they hit that goal. the analogy I used in my nutrition group last night during our Zoom meeting was breakfast cereal. Oh, sit down to a bowl of breakfast cereal when you're hungry. You can and stop it. when you're full. You never will be. <laughs> no, it's you just will a, finish that box. It's just a matter you're full. of how much can you stuff in. Yeah, yeah. Because your body's going, nope, no protein. No, uh, nope, none. Not here. Nope, still not. You've had four hundred and <laughs> four bowls. Yeah, you've had. You've had, let's see, 2,600 calories, yeah. not a gram of protein. No. Just whatever it happened to be in the milk. That's, that's all you're getting. <laughs> right. That's it. Except it's essential minerals that it's set on the box. Right. But then you eat the same amount of calories in ribeye or chicken breast or something, you're going you're gonna to be full way, way quicker. That's that satiety that protein provides. Okay, here it says, focus on calorie surpluses, not deficits. Again, there's the calories in, calories out. If you're trying to put on muscle, you have to operate not in a deficit. So <clears throat> you got to consume more calories than you burn because otherwise, where's that extra literal mass going to come from? Insulation. <laughs> you're, it's going to turn into insulation. Exactly. You have to. So that's... But that's what, what I'm saying is insulation is if you do too much. Exactly. Yeah, so that's the sad reality, and that's if you. Prior- but you can maintain in a deficit. You can maintain. Yep, exactly. All right, so here's one I was. Casein's good. Snack on casein before bed. Okay, long popular among bodybuilders, casein protein is that how you say it? Casein or casein? Casein. Casein protein slowly absorbs into the bloodstream, meaning it keeps your muscles fed with amino acids for longer compared to other types of protein such as whey and plant proteins. Ah, interesting. So what is casein? 
So it says to get it's some protein. pre-bed, okay, try cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, and milk. For smoothie lovers, casein ba- casein-based protein powder works like a charm. So there's, and that's kind of confusing because, you know, the, most of the protein stuff you get at like Walmart is whey, right? Yep. And then you always get the collagen one. Yep. Right? So have you ever tried this casein uh, Yes, because I eat Greek yogurt every night. Oh, okay. Right. That's usually my last meal. Right. So interesting. I hadn't heard of that one. Oh, here's one that gets us all the time. Get more sleep. Yes, because that's when your body's oh, doing its repair. <laughs> How is that for timing? I, I triggered you. No kidding. <laughs> we'll have to get into my new sleep oh. position. To, yeah, well, yeah, you got to talk about that. But yeah. okay, so this is tough because it says adults 18 to 64 – Need seven to nine hours per night, no excuses. God, that's just hard to do, though. It's so hard to do. Mm-mm. It's not. When we're <laughs> it's not. You're just unwilling. Right. Well, okay. That's true. I'll give you that. Yeah, but you need that extra office episode, <laughs> right? Well, I stopped. It's only 23 minutes. I stopped actually playing it, the TV. Oh, to fall asleep. Yeah, I can't fall asleep with the TV on. That helped. Oh, I can. Oh. Really? But it really messes up my sleep. Just dream about Michael Scott all night. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Oh, he's got the greatest job ever. So, yeah, sleep huge because that's when your body's actually packing on those extra muscle right. fibers. <clears throat> Here's one. You've been in and out on this one. No, I'm always in. Creatine supplementation. Just not me personally. Creatine. I'm just super sensitive to it. I have to. I think I'm going to try and half dose it and see mm-hmm. what happens. Micro I just, dose. I look. I, I look like. Uh, I look like uh, when I, as soon as I take it, like three days in, I look like Ryan Reynolds in that movie where he was fat and he got skinny <laughs> and he's in costume at the beginning. Like just friends or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how I look in like three days. I look like him. His before picture. And it was, uh, or like I got stung by a bee. <laughs> I got to see if I can find that. Yeah, <clears throat> right there. Just the the cl- look at the fr- yes. the the DVD cover. That's how just I look. friends. That's what it's called. Yes, like three days in. That's what I look like. It's funny. I just watched this movie. It's on Netflix. I just watched this the other day. It's it's such a good movie. Pretty funny. He's he's so funny. Yeah, he's just all super plump in the face. Yeah, I just can't. Yeah, it's like three days. I could, I can lift the gym. So green tea does that, huh? Yeah, just I get blo- super sensitive. Bloating, yeah, huh? I just retain so much water. Okay. So it mentions here, um, supplement with creatine can help you lift fourteen percent more reps than you can without the supplement. For sure. For best results, opt for creatine monohydrate, the most thoroughly researched form of the supplement. Yep. Here's another one I haven't heard of. HMB, mm-hmm. a natural compound produced in the human body, beta hydroxy, beta meth, methyl but- butyrate, butyrate <laughs> prevents muscle protein breakdown, encourages muscle growth, and speeds exercise recovery. Unfortunately, it's hard to significantly increase levels through food alone. That's where supplementation comes in. So, I wonder what form that comes in. Let's, pill. Is it a pill? Okay. Yeah. Let's look pill. There might be a powder. Out. HMB supplement. Powder. Okay. Do HMB supplements work? They eat their food. How often? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, some people take it. Some people don't. I I don't think it's a... I'm going to search for it. Okay. Here's powder. There's pills. Yeah, that one. Let's create... Oh, creatine. HMB. Oh, Ooh. there you go. Combined. Look at that one. <clears throat> for the bros that really want to really want to dollars That's alarming. <laughs> that seems awfully cheap. All right. Strength series, creatine, HMB. Man, nothing like, nothing capitalizes more on, on people's fantasies than the supplement industry. <laughs> it's so funny. You know, people are just buying this stuff and all these different supplements just going, well, Eat this. I'm gonna grow. Right. I'm gonna grow like Arnold. Just watch out, everybody. I can't get, go to the gym tonight, but I'm not gonna skip my creatine. <laughs> but HMB. I'm not gonna skip the creatine or the HMB. Right. 
Exactly. Oh, it happens. I hear it all the time. Yep. All right. Okay, got another article talking about how long it takes. Now, this is, we're going to get into the the patience required here. So. The bullshit. Wondering when your hard work at the gym is going to start paying off in gains. And the funny thing is, for me, people actually had to tell me. Like, it, it was so slow, I couldn't even tell anything was happening. Right. But when people would walk up and would see me and hadn't seen me in a, a few months, would go, dude, what are you? working out right. like they would just literally exclaim right. it right so but it was so slow that i couldn't even tell it was happening and, and you know my results are not dramatic by any means but just it was enough for people that had to point it out to me when i used to when i first started crossfit i worked for a company where we were all remote mm. throughout the country once a year we'd gather at the corporate office in iowa and we were there and We'd go over a new product and changes for the upcoming year or whatever. And I had one guy stop me at the line going through the food. And he goes, hey, I've been following you on that CrossFit stuff Mm -hmm. on your Facebook. And he goes, I have to say, he goes, you changed. Mm. And I just went, oh, for the better, I hope. Ha ha, you know, whatever, small talk, joking. From when seeing you the last year? Yeah. And he goes, no, 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 no. I mean, not like mentally, mindset, like you physically look like an entirely different person. Wow. It's along the same lines as what you were just saying. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't see that. <laughs> it's that glow up. But he hadn't up. seen me in a year. It's that glow up we always talk about. Right. Tom Brady. Right, right, right. The Chris Pratt. Yep. You know, the face. And that's why you're so sensitive to the creatine. Right. And you don't want to get that bloat. Yep. Because then it feels like you're backtracking. Right. Because, yeah, that glow up of the leaning out of the face is is a huge it's, improvement. Yeah, you know what? Just for the audience, you you keep going. I'm going to find an, the example just to prove it. <laughs> I have proof. Okay. How long does it take to build muscle? The amount of muscle you actually gain and, and how quickly is determined by many factors, including genetics, diet, training, and hormones, and your starting body composition is also an important factor to consider. There's only so much food your body can process and turn into muscle mass. That's why it's so slow. Gaining multiple pounds of muscle a week is not realistic. Similar to losing weight, gaining weight takes time and consistency and patience. Okay, here it says, um, for most, gaining a half a pound of weight a week represents a fairly quick rate of healthy weight gain. And for some, especially women, the rate of muscle gain may be even slower. So we're talking about half pound of weight a week. So that's two pounds a month that you can mm-hmm. put on. Meaning if your scale, if you're as lean as you want to be, your scale is only going to go up maximum two pounds a month. Even if you're like super lean and exactly where you want to be. So, I mean, that's for somebody that weighs themselves every day or whatever, that that's, is very freaking slow. So, and here's where we need to differentiate weight gain versus muscle gain. <clears throat> Traditional muscle gain is achieved by gaining weight. Yes, you can gain a little bit of muscle while losing fat, but this process is fairly slow and not as efficient as building muscle during a true bulk. If you want to gain some serious muscle that mass, this requires weight gain. Um, this is where we get into the cutting and bulking and cutting cycle that every, all the bodybuilders do. Um, so the thing about weight gain and weight loss is that it's always a combination of lean tissue and fatty tissue. Never one exclusively which is, means you'll always gain some additional body fat when trying to gain muscle and lose Correct. some muscle. Yeah, you can't avoid that part. Yeah, the, it's just a matter of how drastic. Yep. So when you're bulking, you want to put on as much muscle and as little fat as possible. And when you're cutting, you want to remove as much fat and keep as much, retain as much muscle as possible, but you will lose some when you're in a deficit. Um <clears throat> So the rate of weight gain is not necessarily the best answer. You'll need to check in with your body composition at the start of your bulk and after roughly 8 to 12 weeks to see where you land. All right, how to gain more muscle than fat. And then it talks about the ideal body fat percentage um, for an athlete, male 6 to 13, uh, fitness level they call it, that's 14 to 17, average 18 to 24, um, above average greater than 25%. And for females, they call athletic 14 to 20. Boy, it's tough for females to get as, you know, as lean as we might, they might think they need to be. <clears throat> and that's just because they are just not naturally as lean. 
Yeah, yeah they, they naturally carry more body fat. Yeah, it's just, you know, one of those things. Yep. It's, well, not just naturally carry more body fat, but they also naturally carry less muscle mass. Right. So, just that so ratio if you is... weigh 130, the female weighs 130, they're going to be far more higher in total body fat yep. than a male that weighed 130. Exactly. Just, and that's just one of those unavoidable differences. Yep, exactly. I'd sent them to your email, by the way. Mm. We can look at them later. Okay. It's, it's actually pretty shocking. <laughs> right on. Okay, so let's see. If you're a satisfactory lean... Starting body composition, start with the bulk for 12 weeks, then rest for four to eight, followed by a six to 12 week cut, depending on how much fat you've gained. So that's that classic bodybuilder thing of bulking, gaining on muscle, and then cutting all as much fat out as you can, and then trying to be right, you know, right when the competition week or whatever it is that you or 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 the summer. Exactly. If you're just yeah. a weekend Joe that wants to look good on the sandbar. Exactly. That's so many people come to me like I need to swole up and 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 <laughs> and, and bulk. And it's already, it's already like Easter. You're like too late, bro. Yeah, you should be. You should have been cutting like four <laughs> Talking weeks. Talking about ago. next a year and a half from now. Right, okay, right, right. Yeah. So here's some tips on how to tell if you're gaining muscle. Number one, you're gaining weight. Remember, you have to see some weight gain, otherwise you will not see muscle gain. Right. Um, your clothes fit different. This one's huge. Like for me, yes. like. And, you know, this isn't that super tight shirt, but my shirts used to be tighter in the gut and not tight in the chest and arms. Now most regular shirts I buy off the rack are tighter in the arms. Right. And for me, I notice... Less less tight in the, in the gut. For me, the last three months, maybe, I've... For me, it's my pants. Yeah, like and guys that quads. do, like, squatting and stuff. Yeah, yeah they make, like... Yeah. Bodybuilder jeans, right? Yeah, you know, they have the, stretch the to flex them. Flex jeans, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yep. So that's that's one that a lot of guys that really get into this stuff. They, you know, you have to buy different clothes, <clears throat> but that's a good problem to have. There's no better feeling in the world when you put on a pair of like dress pants you haven't worn in a while, and around the thighs, it's like. But Tight. then, you, but you went down right. a belt notch. Ex- yeah, right. Yeah, because most dudes, all they're concerned about is the waist measurement. Yep. Right. So and that's always constantly going up. Right. But if that's going down, but then it's tight in the thighs, and mm-hmm. you know you're nailing it. Um, okay, you're you're building strength. Now this is funny. They they did the the punctuation wrong. It says you're building strength. So oh like, right. How, well, how strong is your house? <laughs> uh, so yeah, okay. Have you ever, and we, you know this all the time because you're doing literal weights, but have you ever just been able to move something that you didn't think you could move before? Oh, yeah. Just pure, you know, hey, I'm stronger now. That's kind of fun when that happens. Like, you know, you're, like I do house flipping, you know, so if I'm trying to pick up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trying to pick up how many, like, two by four is going to carry at once, that right. kind of stuff. And, yeah. you, you know, you're always guessing, but when that number goes up, you're like, Oh shit! I could do more. Or, like when one guy's carrying like you know, two things of sheetrock, and you can carry four. Right, right. <laughs> That's kind of fun, you know, because you just know, and they're looking at you like, "Damn, I don't know you could lift that." Yeah, it just that happened. We had our open house at work, and people were carrying one chair in each arm, <laughs> right. and there's the folding kind, <laughs> and I grabbed like six. <laughs> Like through the top to the back. Yes. And, you got one chair in each finger. And, and, the, and, you know, it's just a stack of them on my right. forearm, and I'm carrying them. And, yep. of course, you get a little swole. A little, yeah, you get a little, a little pump swole. from that. And I'm going like this, and I'm just walking with these chairs. And the best part is when they don't say anything. They just go like this. <laughs> they just go, eh, I'm pitiful. Get out, get out of his way. <laughs> so... Uh, dovetailing into that, your muscles are looking swole. Yep, so that's good. You know, when you actually look, they look bigger. They feel bigger, right? I'm going to tell you a quick, quick story about one time back in the late '90s. Sorry, mm-hmm. when I first got into bodybuilding, mm-hmm. and I was, I got ended up getting really, 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 really lean, like single digits, high single digits. And ended up kind of falling off the rails like most people do. Well, fuck it. I can admit it. Full disclosure. <laughs> ended up going to visit my brother back home. And that weekend, I ended up getting thrown in the clink for DUI. 
And that was just... By the local Barney Fife. Yeah. So that was... <laughs> oh, no, it was in the Twin Cities. So oh, right. It was real cops, <laughs> a real jail cell. Right. Funniest story of that side story is I'm sitting in the jail cell just going, what the fuck did I do? And the old dude comes up to me. What are you in here for? And I said, DUI. He goes, DUI? You're not drunk. I'm drunk, but you're not drunk. <laughs> I'll never forget that. I'm like, well, you want to be my lawyer? <laughs> but anyways, that was the point where I went. Like a lot of people. It's right. like life change. Yeah. They wouldn't even look at beer. Spent every night in the gym. Right. And because I was in the military at the time, you get a DUI in the military, it's bad news, right? Yeah, yeah, you're under a microscope, you don't sneeze <laughs> after that. So, I spent all my time going to college courses and or taking college courses on base and going to the gym. That was it, I couldn't mm -hmm. drive anyway, so who gives right. a shit? Yeah, um, but anyways, I got really, 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 really lean, got in really good shape. Well, that's fear and depression and just having life all around you come crashing down. Yep. Unbelievably short-term motivator. Right. So anyways, I used to see this guy at the gym all the time, and we'd swap tips and stories. And Well, I ended up falling off. I met a girl because when you get super <laughs> ripped, you get the girl. Yeah. And then when you meet her, then you just want to go to Applebee's and <laughs> – Started drinking beer again and yep. watch movies. So I let it go. Mission accomplished, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> Fish on. Yeah. So I ended up falling off. And six days a week in the gym turned, and rice and chicken breast mm. turned into two days in the gym just to get a little pump yep. and chicken wings and beer. Right. Back on the beer. <laughs> well, I saw that guy. In public. You went from chicken breast to real breasts. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, you have to eat the chicken breast to get the real breast. <laughs> um, no, you don't. They love the dad bod. <laughs> um, but anyways, one of my story is I see this guy at the grocery store at the mall or fuck, I don't know, wherever. Yeah. And he goes, oh, dude, I've been getting after it. I hadn't lifted a weight. Oh. But I've been gaining fat. I've been right. getting, getting soft. So you look chubby. bigger. Yes. And he's like, right. man, you really, whatever you're doing is working. Mm. <laughs> right. It's deceptive. Yeah. It is. Look bigger, yeah. That, that's that number four. It's, yep. He thought, wow, well, he's no way that guy that I saw every day, given it as all being so dedicated, mm -hmm. would actually quit. Right. So he must be getting thick. He thought you were just bulking up. I was just getting fat. Right. And that's that. You're looking swole. Oh, and, that, and that's why... That's the fat guys you see in public with their T-shirt rolled up. Linebackers. Yeah. No, linebackers are. Well, like they have, they have giant brush. Shit houses. Well, linemen are. Linebackers aren't. Or whatever, but it's yeah. the it's the fat guy, yeah. the farm kid. Yeah. With the, and he gives us a, just a couple twists. Yeah, right. And it's like, dude, you're like 47% <laughs> body fat. Why are you twisting up your exactly. T-shirt sleeves? Right. Yeah. Well, it's like, like you have bingo. It's still you have, size. You have bingo wings. Right. But because it's big, it it's stretches size. the T-shirt out. Yep, yep. Exactly. But then the gut's still, the gut's also being, you know, in fear for but its they, life. But they manipulate that by sucking in because oh, yeah. I did it. Right. And it, it's like, dude, we know you're sucking in when it's all like <laughs> straight down. Right. There's no undulation from the chest to the abs. <laughs> undulation. Good vocabulary. It's just... Whoosh, <laughs> and it's just square. It's like right. it's like a big square. Yeah, Barrel. it's like dude, you yeah, you're you're sucking it in. We can tell. <laughs> yep, that's true. Speaking of yeah, we'll, well get and to that, that and that's why sent you that that's day. why really lean guys don't look that impressive with clothes on. You know, oh right, yeah, they, they look yeah, small. they just look sk like skinny whips. But then they take it off, they're like, damn, they're like totally cut. Well, and they're just V shaped and, and, and tapered, have, and might even have big muscles, right? But just because there's so much less bulk on them, yep, that they don't look as massive with clothes on. See that CrossFit competitions all the time. People are like, you're like that guy's no threat. Then they take the shirt off. You're like, oh fuck. Oh uh, yeah, it's like, whoa. <laughs> he's doing one handed he, pull ups. He's gonna yeah. win. Yeah, right. just give him the medal. Yep. So yeah, that's uh crazy so 
how to build muscle fast. Ultimately, how long it takes to gain muscle depends on the person and how long you stick to your muscle growth goals. Muscle protein synthesis requires a balance of adequate nutrition, strength training, and rest. Talked about that last week, right? You got to mm-hmm. force yourself to rest sometimes. Got to repair. Got to repair. Well, the details can vary depending on your fitness level. The basic principles of muscle gain remain the same. Yep. Okay, so eat enough calories. Talked about that. Um, exercise. So, that's so misleading. I wish they would stop saying that. Just eat calories. Well, no, or, because so many people get wrapped up in – there's so many people who go, I want to gain muscle. And they see, eat enough calories. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're already eating enough. Yeah. Dude, you think, uh, yeah. That does it doesn't not mean, apply to you. It doesn't mean more than what you're already eating. No, yeah, definitely not. And that's where, um, you know, I've talked to many people. Yeah, you're people. already in a massive surplus. Exactly. Yeah, you're, right. you're, you should probably look at cutting. Right, exactly. Yes, yeah, so people don't know where they're at. Okay, we talked about this exercise for muscle growth. So the hypertrophy, let's see if they say anything different here. Okay, so the right lifting strategy can depend on personal and multiple individual factors. Some beginners can see muscle growth just from body weight exercises. Well, that's what Ted Naiman does. I think he just has a pull-up bar. Right. He just cranks through to massive, utter failure You could with pull-ups. Th- if you had a pull-up bar in and you your do garage push-ups? and you could do push-ups, if, if you just had a pull-up yeah. bar – I could turn you into a cyborg. Yeah. It's just about physical time fitness. under tension. It is. Between pull-ups, sit-ups, push-ups, and squats, Yeah, I could turn you into a beast with just a pull-up bar. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm in some – because I have a little room and I turn into a gym in my house. You know, I'm in these home gym groups on Facebook. Oh, And sure. you see these freaking – planet fitnesses people have in their houses. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. Oh, it's – And some of that's just – like guys that collect guitars and stuff. I mean, right, it's just a right, sickness. Right, right, right. You don't need that stuff. Mm-mm. I mean, I got the bare minimum that I needed. It's surprisingly is the amount of people who have those that looks like Planet Fitness in their basement. Oh, yeah. And still go to a gym. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, every, we've talked about that. Everybody needs a different yeah. motivator. Yep. And, what, and sometimes it's about the community and What and if money's that. no object? Right. Then you can have a kick-ass gym at home and still afford a gym. Exactly. And then if it rains or it gets a bad snowstorm, you can go to your planet, yeah. your own planet fitness. But, but yeah, I mean, the, the thing is you don't need, and a lot of people use that as an excuse to not start. Right. Because they'll say, well, once I get this machine and that machine in my home gym, then I'll, then I'll start in it. How's that home gym? Well, I don't use it very much. But, well, because I don't have X. Yeah, right. Just Drop and do a shit ton of push-ups. Just do burpees until you puke. <laughs> right. Do burpees, push-ups, and pull-ups. I mean, like you said, a pull-up bar, that, that's really that and doing a shit ton of push-ups. Because on, I mean, on the pull-up bar, you can do pull-ups, then you can do toes to bar. Oh, yeah. And then use like a get a stool or a step and then jump up on top of the pull-up bar oh, like and then do a, dips. Like a muscle-up or whatever. And then yep. do dips when you get up there. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, you can do it's, it. You just don't want it. That's really all you need. Yeah, you don't need to wait for the next thing. Right. The next thing. <clears throat> um, well, plus the amount of money. Holy crap. Oh, okay, take rest days. Okay, we talked about this in the last article too. Muscle growth happens during periods of rest. This means taking breaks from lifting weights and getting plenty of sleep are crucial to the muscle building process. <laughs> Do you ever seen that meme that says, what muscle, what is this rest muscle? And how do I train it? How do I train it? Yeah, exactly. What day is it? It's rest day. Where where do I find rest muscle? Which one's that? (laughs) (laughs) Yep. All right. And last but not least, be patient. Give yourself time to be successful. Results take time and consistency. So be patient and stick to your regimen. And work fucking hard. Oh, yeah. It's going to hurt. It's going to suck. It's going to be uncomfortable. And if it's not, you're not doing it right. If it's not, you're not doing anything. No. If you're not going to failure and progressively overloading, overloading, then you're not going to give your muscle that stimulus that it needs to adapt. Yep. Because again, just to repeat, why does a muscle get bigger? Because it received a stimulus and evolutionarily the muscle said, oh shit, if I don't accomplish this task, that saber toothed tiger is going to get me. Or if I don't lift this rock off my family, my genes won't survive. Right. 
So it's really evolutionary baked in. Yeah. So that if you can't accomplish a task, your muscles need to adapt so that next time you can. Right. That's literally what, you know, the basis for, for muscle But people's growth. argument is we don't have saber-toothed tigers chasing us anymore. <laughs> said, no, you have cardiovascular disease. Right. Fight yeah. that off. Ex- exactly, fight that off. And plus everybody's, you know, trying to get the fish on. Oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah, but they don't care because everybody loves a dad bod now because they enable your ass. Bullshit. Right. So Bullshit. go, bef- before you wrap up, go to your email. Because okay. I want to, I want to show somebody the, the, um, the, uh, the downfall, uh, potential trap of, so okay. don't, All don't right. go live yet. Okay, I won't. But that right there. Okay, hang on, I'm going to open that new tab. Open new tab. Those two. Yep. Okay, so, so which go one do you want to show first? Go to. This one first. Nope. No, that, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, right, right, okay. Go to that one, open that one first. That was the, look at my face. Yeah. That was, but look at my arms yep. and my shoulders. It's everywhere. It's yep. just volume. Yep. The, the creatine creates Size. so much volume. In my face, Is this though, just, that's just last year when you I'll tell to, you, this is June. Just like six months like ago. Like June 22nd. Right. When you were on creatine. And I was on heavy creatine, five five grams a day. Recommended amount, but yep. I was never yep. missed a day. Yep. But I was getting strong as a bull mole, a bull moose. <laughs> but look at my face. Yep. So then I got we got back from vacation and I said, Jesus Christ, man, look at my face. Why don't you tell me I looked like I got stung by a bee? <laughs> and I go, I'm done. Because she loves you. She goes, I'm done. I said, no more creatine. Okay. And then it's not worth it. Boom. That's my birthday. Yep. August third. Right. So, geez, just like a month later? Yep. yep. Holy shit. Yeah. That's and my birthday. Notice she looks the same. Of course. Attractive all the time. Right. <laughs> she does clearly never takes creatine. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that is that is a crazy difference. Yeah. yeah last week of June. I first mean, week you kind of August. look like you got that Chris Kyle, uh, uh, American Sniper. Yeah, just uh, uh, deadlift. What's his nut? Bradley. Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Yeah. American Sniper kind of look. Yep. You know, he like put on some thickness. Yep. And then, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy just, difference. Just by dropping the creatine. Yep. Wow. Yeah. It's, There's it, living proof, guys. It definitely living proof. Definitely uh, will make you retain water. But it's that's okay. Yeah. Because that it's creating volume in your muscle fibers, too. Yeah, I mean, it, it all depends on your goals, right? Yep. If it doesn't bother you to have, be puffier, then and you're just going for straight up. And normally, like right and, now... It probably wouldn't bother me, and I'll probably start taking it again here pretty quick. Um, I, you know, what, I what happens when you stop taking it? Nothing. You just you you lose your muscle. Do you lose any of that strength? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep. No, 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 no. Sorry, no, no. You don't lose strength. Okay. You lose the ability to keep going though. Oh okay. Because that's what creatine gives you. If you can do, if you can so do, so if you're doing the farmer care, you just can't go as far. Correct. If you can do three sets of 10 of 50-pound dumbbells when you're doing curls, you could do three sets of 12 with creatine. Okay. But the same weight. Yep. And not so much that you couldn't do the first set of 12 without it, but without it, you're not going to be able to do the second or third set of 12. Right. But with creatine, you can do all three. Is that a – it's not a banned substance for, like, powerlifting. No, they they wanted it to be. Because I'm sure all those strong men are on that then, right? Oh, for sure. If just, Anyone is. Yeah. That's if strength does is it the goal. for a job, right? Yeah, and you're not trying to be a model. And I need to get, but that this was summertime, and nobody mm-hmm. wants to look like puffy, puffy in the summertime. So I got off it for the rest of the summer, and I my plan was this fall, late fall, early winter, which is right now. Yep. Was to start back up. I just haven't yet. Yeah. But yeah. you will. See gains. I mean, it's a crazy difference just in that six weeks or whatever. Yep. That's yeah, that's not nutty. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up there. So, bottom line, it takes consistency, it takes tons of effort, and and a ton of patience. And yes, I don't know why I'm doing the Charlie's Angels thing in that picture. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't know. It's not later. Me, Emmy took it <laughs> on my birthday, and I, later I'm like, why am I doing that? It reminds me of. What what movie is that? Is that Airplane or Naked Gun, 
where the guy's sitting at the desk like this, and then there, he has a guy that walks in and he has a big meeting with him, and then, and then at the end of the meeting he goes, "When are you scheduled to have your fingers removed from your face?" <laughs> I don't remember that. He goes, oh, tomorrow. Because <laughs> it like, got super glued on or something. Right. That's funny. <laughs> All right, guys. Wrap it up there. Send emails to info at fitinferious.com. Make sure you're watching it on YouTube. You got to see this glow up. You got to see this creatine swollenness happening. It's um, coming back, but I'm going to stay away from the camera. <laughs> Please subscribe. We're, we're growing. We're growing. We're, our, our subscriber rate is rate is growing the same rate as muscle growth, extremely slow. So we got to be but patient. It, but it's organic. It's very. What are organic. we up to now? One hundred one. Like a hundred? No, like one hundred twenty-four or something. Holy like that. shit! Yeah, I know. We, we're just. It's creeping. It's a slow creep, baby. Listen anywhere uh, audio podcasts are found: Apple, Spotify, Google, etc. Please subscribe, rate, review, and share. Support the show at furiousmerch.com. And we will see you next time, not next week, because I'm going to be in Florida. Yeah, baby. So we'll see you the week after You're going to look like you did creatine when you're around. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just... Oh, before we go. Yeah. Cut it, cutting challenge update. You're going to do a quick... How are Moving. you doing? Moving. Moving forward. You? <laughs> shitty. Yeah. All right, one That's... word. In a word, Shitty. All right. Well, it's we'll just it. a it's just a PETA banner. I mean, how bad is it going to be? It's not like it's going to cost you any money <laughs> to, to have to join P, PETA for no. five five year membership. Yes, and we're sure to get a day. bumper sticker for my car. Yes. All right. Okay, guys, so we'll see you in two weeks. Bye bye. Go get my creatine fluff. <laughs> <laughs>